Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I brought you new content today, for I am doing a Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke randomizer. Um, yes. I will be doing this throughout the whole game, part by part. And, um, it is all randomized. I'll go over, um, it, uh, all, it has all Pokemon for what I know, uh, Generation 1, 2, and 3. I tested it out just like the, um, the first encounters and, uh, just to make sure you know it worked and everything. There wasn't any bugs or glitches or stuff because it is a, um, a ROM hack. And, um, the only things that are different in the randomizer is that, like I said, has all three gens. All of the natures are, um, different or randomized. As are the moves, they, um, the starters all get four moves randomized. Um, I mean, not the natures are, I don't think the natures are randomized. I think it's just the abilities and the moves. And, um, I think everything else is like the game, it's just the, uh, the Pokemon and their moves and abilities are randomized. But, um, I might be wrong, but if I do, I apologize. I just, it's from assumption. <coughs> Hello there. Glad to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> My name is Oak. People affectionately refer me to the as the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for battling. As for myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. But first, tell me a little about yourself. Am I a boy or a girl? Gonna go with the boy character. And my name. Um. Any all right. Right, so your name is Luke. Yes. This is my grandson. He's been your rival ever since y'all were babies. What was his name again? That'd be green. Well, no, we won't do anything. We'll make it up this time. Hmm. 
This will be Dang it. Come on. Okay. Ah. Oh no, there's not enough room. I was gonna do butt face, but apparently there's not enough. Hmm. Uh, we'll just go with. Oh goodness. You know what? We'll go with butt. He'll be butt. Yes, but yes, it was, but he is booty. Your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. The world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. Oh, dang it, my fingers. Oh, I got my fingers in it. All right. Now, I'm also doing a Nuzlocke on it too, which I suck horribly at, so hopefully I won't totally use. I thought about just doing a randomizer, but I've already played Fire Red so much <clears throat> that um, I wanted to give it a little bit more challenge, but apparently I can never win these things, but... I'm willing to give it one more try, get this potion, and be on our merry way. I apologize for the music on the game, it's kind of laggy, but, um, I mean, can't really do anything about that. Oh man, I don't want to go back upstairs. Goodbye, mother. Okay, never mind. There we go. Adventure! Dun, 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 dun. Hey, wait! Don't go out! It's unsafe! Wild Pokemon live in there! You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know. Here, come with me. The text speed is so slow. Oh goodness, there's three starry Pokemon. Now I have looked at all three of them just to see if they work. I'm not gonna say anything so I can keep the suspense. But, um, yeah, I'll just go through it as I've never seen them before. But, um, oh my gosh, can't believe we're actually about to start. This is gonna be so fun. I'm not going to read all this text, it's just too much. Plus, if you played Fire Red, you already know what's being said and all of that, so. Let's start with the first Pokemon. Now, they would have Bubble Sword, Squirtle, and Charmander, but this is all randomized, so. Yeah. So, we have... Flaffy, 
the electric type Pokemon, it's gonna say Bulbasaur because it's because I think this Bulbasaur was not. It's really flaky. But yeah, we have Flaffy, the electric type, and oh, oops, I meant to say no so I could show y'all the rest. Oh man, well, that was a fail. Well, I guess so y'all will know, the one right beside it on the right was Spiro, and the one on the far right was Wingle. I was going to show y'all, but apparently I accidentally pressed yes. That was a big fail, but yeah. And yes, we are going to give Flaffy a nickname. I apologize for that. I should have shown y'all, but I made a mistake. Alright, we're going to call Flaffy. Now, when I nickname Pokemon... I usually either get them like an anime reference or like a pet reference. I think Flaffy would be a pet reference. I want to call him Sparky. I don't know if it's cliche, but I like Sparky. Flaffy. I was going to choose Flaffy from the beginning anyways because I mean it's a no brainer if you have a choice between all three of them I mean I didn't want to get a little bird or believe in the Pico so I wanted to get Flaffy alright got Sparky our first Pokemon Oh, I'm sorry. Gary chooses his. He got a Wingle. Which is a really bad choice for him because I'm electric type. And he's water and flying, which is quad. Super effective. Towards, um, stab for me. Um, let's go ahead and check out Sparky, so y'all can see his amazingness. Ooh, and he's holding an item. He's impish nature. Oh man, impish nature. Oh well, he's electric type, so... I'm not sure. I don't think they changed the um the typing. I think it's just the moves and the nature. So yeah, we got an impish nature. He has rocket, so no recoil damage. And um check out these random moves. Parish song? I didn't even say that right. Parish song, Thunderbolt, Endeavor, and Ice Beam. What are these moves? Like, this is like a combination of Articuno, Zapdos, like, moves. Like, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, Parish song? Oh my gosh. Some crazy moves. Alright. Let's go ahead and take this item off of him. What are you holding, Flaffy? Received TM24. He was holding a TM. Let's see what TM he was holding. Counter. Wow. Counter. So we already got our first TM with our first Pokemon. 
who has crazy attack moves, and one of them are beneficial to us, and is probably going to shock the life out of the swing we're about to battle right here, as you know, first rival battle. Let's go ahead and get started. The music is kind of laggy and it's kind of slow, but it still plays perfectly fine. I mean, that Did it just say Wingle traced my rockhead? Oh my gosh. Well, we know what Wingle has as an ability. Alright, let's go for the Thunderbolt and fry him. Anyway, well, I guess he's faster than us, but in the end, what do we win? Defeated. Get this XP. And we're level six. Nice. The, um, the level up moves are random too, so he's not going to get, Sparky's not going to get his moves he would get when he levels up. It's all going to be random too. The evolutions are not random, randomized though, so he is going to evolve into Ampharos whenever he reaches level 30. Which will take some time. Okay. Alright, I'm sorry about that. I think my computer did something I don't know about, but I got the game back on, so just ignore that. Alright. Let's take our steps to our, the wildness of this <clears throat> randomizer. I just hope I don't run into like any legendaries and just get blown back to smithereens. Let's talk to him and get our free potion. I'm sorry about the quality guys. <clears throat> Still recording on the same old iPod. Alright. And, oh, looks like we get to see a sneak peek of what's in here. What the heck? I'm Reggie Rock, I said no legendaries. What? No! What is this? The craziness has already begun! Oh my goodness. Um... Uh, it, 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 ice cream? Go, ice cream! It did neutral damage. Body slam! Don't hurt my Sparky! Alright, he lived. Go! Second ice beam! Sha! Death to you, Reggie Rock! Goodness gracious! 
starting off with legendaries right off the bat. Well, we're level 7 thanks to freaking Gonzalez XP from Ridgey Rock. Oh my goodness, so now y'all see, that was Gen 3, so that's the farthest I've ever seen. But yeah. We literally took one step. A Rosalia. Well, I got a nice ice beam with your name on it. Ice beam! Cha! Deleted! I'm gonna be getting a lot of XP. Look at that, level 8, and we haven't even gotten to the first town. My goodness. Alright. So, we got Reggie Rock and Rosalia in here. Bowl picks? I want a Vulpix! Ah, Vulpix! Please be mine! I would love to have a nine tails. Oh. That's awesome! Dude, these encounters are pretty nice, though. Regirock, Roselia, Vulpix. Mm. I just hope I can catch them. I hope I don't get that Regirock. I know I'm not going to catch them. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would love to have the Regirock because legendaries are awesome, but... Their catch rate is like three. It's like legendaries and starter Pokemon are the hardest to catch. I'll flip out if I see any more legendaries because I didn't think we would start off with our first wild encounter as a Reggie Rock. My goodness. He could have he could have blew us back if he had like explosion or something. That would have been the death of it. Let's go get this parcel so we can take it to Professor Oak and get our Pokeball so we can start the news lab. If you don't know what a Nuzlocke is, it's a, um, it's like a harder version of the game. And the rules, I'm doing the simple three rules, um, you know, catch the first Pokemon every route. But you can only catch that first Pokemon unless it's a dupe clause, which I highly doubt because it's randomized. Um... <clears throat> nickname every single Pokemon you catch, and if a Pokemon faints, it's dead, which is the hardest one to me, because apparently all my Pokemon end up dying, I run out, and then game over. Which sucks. And it has happened every single time I try to Nuzlocke, but you know what? I'm not gonna give up, I'm gonna keep on trying, because I know one day I will have a win. For me. I just gotta keep trying. Let's go and head to the professor's lab. Go ahead and get our handy dandy Pokedex.
I make these videos, um, half an hour long each, so it can be semi-long with, um, I don't know how long it's gonna be, but hopefully, if you're watching this, you'll stay tuned to the very end. I'll, I'm gonna complete the game. I'm not gonna catch the legendaries after the game because it's randomized, so it's not gonna be me too. Zapdos, Articuno, Moltres. They're gonna be randomized too. So I'm just gonna beat the game. And then... Yeah. That'll be it. That Spiro that was left behind, I mean, I can say it because we're not going to be able to get it, but whenever I tested it out, I tested all three starters just to see if they all worked, and that Spiro has a crazy ability, like, that's like Nuzlocke ability you want that has battle armor. Yes, battle armor, which blocks crits, which... <clears throat> if anyone knows, crits can be your best friend or your worst friend. That's all. Now me, I don't normally get critted a lot. I usually get give crits a lot. So crits aren't a bad thing. It's just I just get paired up with bad Pokemon and they just defeat me with overwhelming power just utter destruction hurry up all right and we got our first pokeballs so this means we started off our nuzlocke and i'm gonna go ahead and catch our first encounter and then i'm gonna end off the first episode so yeah Let's go ahead and see what our first encounter is on Route 1. Please be a full pix. Please be a full pix. Oh. Rosalia is good too. It's all good. Alright. I'm scared to attack. Let's go, let's just go see if we can catch it right off the bat with Pokeball. Where are you, Pokeball? Oh, there you are. Alright, see if we can just catch it off the bat without even having to worry about lowering HP. Ooh, we did! An easy catch! Nice! We caught a Roselia. Roselia would be good too. Grass and poison if they have the typing right. And then we're just gonna check and see what else she or he has give this it is a girl a girl named for Rosalia I don't know why the first thing that popped in my head is Leafy Leafy be a girl name yeah. I would say it's like a... <coughs> I'm sorry for coughing so much. Leafy sounds like a gender neutral name, so I think it could go for either. Leafy. And yeah. <clears throat> I 
Here we go. Our new teammate. Alright, let's go ahead and check out Leafy and <clears throat> Leafy's holding an item. Goodness. So we got the naughty natured Leafy Grass Poison with a choice band. What is this randomizer? This is crazy, dude. Totes crazy. With the ability sturdy. That's nice, so we can't get one hit KO'd. My dude. I hear ye. And let's get seeing this moves. Pain Split, Mud Shot, Psybeam, and Twin Neal. So we don't get any stab moves. And, but we have, we have attacks, which is good, because I'm always scared of getting a Pokemon which has no attacks. It's just all offen um, offensive, but this is all offense. There's nothing here. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, I'm going to leave off this episode here. And if you stayed through the whole entire episode, I appreciate it. I also hit 5 subscribers. My channel is saying I hit 6, but it's also saying 5 for some reason. And 6. Like, I don't know. I'm trying to see which one is which. I know I hit 5 though, so I'm going to be doing a video for that. Because that is a little... Go on the reach was five, which y'all made happen. Which I love you guys like so much for making this, and y'all are the best. And um, if you did end up watching to now, thank you for watching. I appreciate you taking your time to watch this, and I hope y'all have an amazing day. I will see y'all in the next episode. Au revoir.